The news of Monty Williams getting fired yesterday kind of surprised me. I was more or less starting to expect for him to stick around for one more year under Trajan Langdon just to see how he could do under Trajan Langdon's construction of this roster. But they decided to move on. But the thing that's frustrating to me about moving on from Monty Williams is the decision looks like it came from Tom Gores. Hopefully, he talked to Trajan Langdon. Otherwise, Tom Gores has not learned anything from his last 16 years of owning this team and he continues to wanting to suck and he does not care about this Detroit Pistons team. Why am I going that hard in on Tom Gores right now? Because he just cut a check for $60 million to Monty Williams. I respect that. But stop making the same bonehead decision over and over and over again and you won't have to cut out that $60 million check. Let, Tr let Trajan Langdon, the guys that you hired to make the basketball decisions, make the basketball decisions. You've obviously proven to all us fans of the Detroit Pistons that you can't can't make any basketball decisions so just stay back give us let give us the money to write the checks and let's turn this team back into a championship contender sorry for that little rant but let's talk about this Detroit Pistons team with Trajan Langdon taking over let him hire this head coach let him hire this GM and the big thing with me is let Cade Cunningham have a decision and or a say in who you're hiring as a head coach he's your star player I made the last couple videos about Cade Cunningham, why you should pay him, and what you should do to build around Cade Cunningham, you go, should go check those videos out. But he's your star player. He's an all-star, 25 and 5. is a pretty solid career stat line, and that's a good piece to start building your team around. You got to find a coach that's either young that he respects or an old guy that he respects that's going to help him go from here to here in his career and you gotta get some pieces around it but what the Detroit Pistons had coaching search going on the top five candidates or candidates that I'm hearing the Detroit Pistons are going to go after the number one guy right now is James Borrego assistant head coach from the New Orleans Pelicans he was the head coach of the Charlotte Hornets from 2018 to 2022 and he did a solid job there they were always good Tending for the eighth seed to the seventh seed. That's pretty good for Charlotte. I'm not going to lie to you. I think that's pretty solid. And he's he was the lead assistant in New Orleans, which also goes to the Brandon Ingram rumors, Trajan Landon being, being able to bring the guys in that he wants. But Borrego is also the head, lead head coaching candidate for the Cavs job and the Lakers job unless J.J. Redick becomes the head coach of the L.A. Lakers. J.J. Redick could also be a head coach candidate for the Detroit Pistons, but I highly doubt that all signs are pointing to him going to L.A. Chris Quinn, Miami head coach, assistant head coach down there, learning from Eric Spolstra. Uh, that's another guy I'd take. Whoever you're bringing in here, just make sure they had the same vision as Trajan Langdon from the top down. That's all you need for a sports franchise. Look for the with the Detroit Lions. I know that's football, but look at that. From the top down, Brad Holmes from Sheila Hampford. They all have the same vision down to who which players they want to bring in, why they're bringing those players in, and how those players are going to help them win this team, win games. That's what the Detroit Pistons need to do. So James Borrego, Matt Cassell from the Boston Celtics, Sean Sweeney from the Dallas Mavericks, Chris Quinn from the Miami Heat. P coaches that come from winning is exactly who I want to run this Detroit Pistons team. Hopefully they they link with Cade Cunningham. Hopefully they link with Trajan Langdon. And we're just got something from the top to bottom. They all had the same vision and they know who they want to bring in. But like I said, I was a little surprised they got rid of Monty Williams. I thought he was going to stick around for one more year just because of the money we paid for him. But hey, I'm all for starting fresh. I'm extremely excited about this offseason. More news is on the way for the Detroit Pistons and I'm all for it. Like the video, comment down below who you want to be the head coach of the Detroit Pistons. Once again, subscribe to the channel. Please keep helping us grow. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.